served as the head of Iran delegation at COP23 negotiations over the implementation of Paris Agreement. As a climate change scientist, I want this problem to be solved. I have worked on it. We know the solution. We know the you know the theoretical solution and how things you know what what solutions must be implemented to solve the problem. But when it comes to the implementation, the question is who pays for it. Who, 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 you know, provides technology and what the process is going to look like. The, those who come from the developing world, like, you know, myself, in, in the debates argue that, that the industrial economies have created this problem. Their, you know, cumulative emissions since the industrial revolution is, is huge. And now they have to take responsibility for what they have done. Uh, they have bought, the, you know, taken the oil of, uh, from other countries, left them with the with the pollution and, and emissions. They have their economies have grown and they have made advancements. And now it's the turn, you know, the the, the developing world's turn to 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 also, uh, you know, develop itself and and improve the quality of the lives of its people. We understand that this is a common threat and at the end we are we are all going to go down. So the developing world, the developing nations appreciate that. But when it comes to the cost of action, who pays for it, how we do it, this is where we we fight because I think a lot of people think that the solu- the current solutions are not fair. It, it's not fair to 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 have different qualities of life in 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 in, in different countries and then ask ask certain nations to sacrifice more than others to to change their development path and and so many things it doesn't mean that we cannot reach a solution i think we are all positive that the solution is achievable but in in solving this problem especially the academics in the west the academics in the global north need to understand the, the truth on the ground and the feeling that people have about fairness unless this solution is fair you know people would would not you know be keen to implement it even if it's if it's win win for all and that's how i use you know game theory to actually address this problem and 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 and, and try to come up with something practical um you know people a lot of politicians have been talking about water wars or or major water conflicts some people have been attributing the current syrian crisis to to for example a, a drought you know it is true that geopolitics would be affected by by the resources scarcity and in in places like like the middle east where uh, water is scarce and and food production is dependent on water jobs are dependent on water of course we would see increasing tension but one thing when we talk about the lack of resources and resource scarcity is is to understand the level we have at one level we have you know possible tensions between countries and then the at, at the other level we have tensions and fights between farmers between the people whose lives are dependent on on water and, and they lose their life when when water becomes scarce like the farmers who are committing suicide in different parts of the world because there is water shortage because they they lose their jobs so it is understand it is important to understand the human security connection to 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 water shortage in that part of the region. Middle East, um, it, you know, in, in many countries in the Middle East, more than 90% of water is withdrawn for agricultural purposes, for food production and for creating jobs. Unless these countries lose their, you know, can find a way to secure their food supply, they might not be able to, to address their water shortage problem and actually adopt themselves to climate change and, and, and try to be strong players when it comes to climate change mitigation.